Hello the internet, welcome back to Logan White Bulls. I am Sefi and we're going to be talking about Mary Bay Goddess, if she's a good unit, a bad unit and if you should pull or not. Don't forget that these guys are mostly for people who want to optimize their accounts and if she's your wife pool, this is a game, have fun, pull for her and get your girl. All that said, before we start, don't forget to do a like and subscribe to help me grow the channel and you can support my content with the links in the description below, it's actually the best way of supporting it. That's it, let's get started. So let's go to her character page and let's talk a little bit about how to build her and then we're going to pull review. So first of all, if we talk about overloaded gear, she's not worth overloading for most players. If you are a player who already has a lot of units built up, a lot of units overloaded with decent stats, then you can start worrying about pure supports like Mary, like D, like Sakura. Those are the types of units you usually don't overload or you only get the overload at level 0 for the extra combat power that you get with that. If you were to overload her though, just go with max ammo, charge speed and a third flex stat where you can put whatever you like. She will not benefit a lot no matter what you put in there. If we talk about skills, you want to go 4, 7, 4. Reasons pretty simple. A skill number 1, Seaside Sunshine and Burst Skill Tracking Watchers will not change a lot when it comes to the burst numbers or to the percentage numbers. On the other hand, the damage as a strong element will get up to a lot. So you want to get this to level 7. Obviously, where she will shine the most is on water teams. We'll talk about that in a second. And I'm guessing the next Union Raid is going to include a lot of bosses, a lot of fire bosses. But at least it's what it seems is going to happen. We'll see if they actually go that road or they pick another element. It will be a little bit fucked up if you release two water units and we get Union Raid with electric bosses. So 474, when it comes to the cube, your best bet is going to be resilience. You want to get the reload speed for the cyber rifle, and you also will get some extra damage as a strong element, which is always cool. All that said, Mary Bay Goddess, unless they start locking content behind elements, she is a mid unit. Now, being a mid unit is not bad. When we say mid, there are plenty of units that are in the middle of the tier list that are super great. If we go by ASEAN standards, right, what for them? A mid unit in the first one slot is going to be is the T1, T1.5, right? That's mid of the table. And there are some really great units in there. There's Noise, there's Pepper, there's Miranda, Emma, Milk, and 102. I believe she will be 1.5. And then when you are playing water content, she will be probably T1. So she's going, always going to be in that weird spot, right? Where depending on the type of content, she will get one grade or the other. And it seems we are moving into that direction more and more. And I'm not referring to PvP or PvE or bosses and campaign. I'm actually referring to in general content in PvE, that depending on what we're doing and if it's element or not, units will become a lot better or a lot worse. That said, in my opinion, she will be 1.5. The reason for this is when you are playing outside water content, you lose half of the kit making her completely useless compared to other pure supports. If you are going with Pepper, you take advantage of absolutely her whole kit. If you go with Helm, you get the heals and you get the other two skills. If you go with Mary Bay Goddess, you will lose Waves Kiss Defeat. You will not be able to use this outside Watcher. And then your Burst skill, you are losing the attack buff, which is the most important part because increasing the max HP will have some synergy with the skill number one, but it's still not good enough just to justify having a unit with only one skill which is Seaside Sunshine for the hills. They are not bad hills, she will keep your team alive. She can keep your team alive from what we've been testing. Decent heal doesn't mean good or bad, just decent, right? And a good healer. That said, once again, do you prefer going with someone who can only heal your team every burst or do you prefer to go with someone that you can actually utilize the whole key? Do you prefer going with someone that can actually heal shield your team and provide more value with books right so she's on that weird spot where once again she's not bad but if you are playing outside water content most of the time you will not see her it's it's going to be super rare using her unless once again she's your wife which in that case all the powers that you use her now something else i want to talk about is people saying she's a top healer she's not anyone who says that is on copium if you think mary bay goddess heals the same as rapunzel or as any other top healer even blank that's just a fucking lie she can keep up with the heals, she can keep the team alive depending on your combat power and the content you're doing. But the moment you start pushing hard content, she will fall off. She doesn't have enough heals for your team only on burst. And once again, going to other websites for content, right? If we go to Pride 1 tier list and we go to the B ones, she will never be able to catch up to noise. Pepper or Rapunzel in terms of healings 
or you need a jewel just for that, right? And she will not either get to the same spot as Dorothy in terms of utility, even if we talk about pure water teams. Dorothy is still the queen of water teams for that, and even N102 will provide a lot more value most of the time for water teams that, that what Mary can offer. Still, she will find a place on water teams. Most of the time when we are doing, for example, solo raid last season, you need five teams, and a lot of people do not have five healers or five main B ones they can use. So she will help there and she will fill a good spot on your main teams. Outside of that, I will say she's not worth picketing. By looks, 100% she's worth. If we talk about utility to your team and your account, if you already have Dorothy, if you have Ludmilla, you probably even have Milk and N102, I don't think it's worth pulling for her. I think Neon Blue Ocean will provide a lot more value for most people because we are lacking B3s in the water aspect that, that, that are good. If she turns out to be a flop, then none of the units are that good. But on paper, Neon Blue Ocean seems to be a lot better than what we are getting. Because right now, we're talking about water units. The only real two options people have are Primacy and Helm. When we talk about real utility and decent DPSs, because then we have Bestie and Neve, which can fill the spot, and Mihara and Breed. If you are seed up, then you have a really good Mihara. The rest of the people don't really invest in these units. So, all that said, all this ranting, do let me know what you think about Mary Bay Goddess if you disagree with anything I've said, or you will place her on higher spot than what I've said. Once again, Meet unit by herself mid high right and then when we're talking about water content i would say she's a good unit before we go don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and thank you to all my patrons for making this content possible if you want to join them you have the links in the description below as you are seeing on top as well we will be starting a stream on kick as well so we are doing live streams right now on youtube and twitch at the same time and i'm also going to include kick in there to see how the platform goes because they are planning on paying content creators and why not right so all that said good luck with your food the internet and see you in the next one ブラントのワールの正体もです。